guys, welcome back to this video. So today, uh, and before I start off with this video, I want to apologize because I haven't been posting in a while. I posted last time like four days ago. I'm really sorry about that because it was my birthday and I was really busy on my birthday. It was so fun, guys. When I came back from school, like my parents put like balloons on top and popped them on my head. It was really fun. I enjoyed my birthday. Happily, now for my apple pencil, which is somewhere I do not know where my apple pencil is. <laughs> like a real one, dude. It was so nice. Anyway, let's go on with this video. As you can see from the title, it's a stretching tutorial, and um, I want to tell you how I'm making this picture perfect body every day, and now I'm so flexible. Like, it might be a touch flat, just like this much, but it's okay. But don't ask why I'm wearing these rubber bands here. This is not a ring, it's a rubber band. So, I wore them because before this, I was doing handstand, and uh, I felt it was easier to use rubber bands. So, if you want to know how, um, then I'll quickly teach this to you guys. If you've seen my handstand tutorial, which was a while back. So, um, what I do is take this, like, long rubber band, like, this elastic long one, and then, like, I just put it on my wrist. And it might be loose, or it cannot. So then I'll rotate it and pull once more. And if it's still loose, that, but only slightly, you can't put another rotate, then that's okay. Then you just have to spin it, spin it once, and, or, like, pull it, and spin, and then, like, put your finger here, and put your middle finger in there. Put your middle finger in there, like this. Here, like this. Might be a bit tired, I understand, it can take a while, but make sure all your fingers are in the right position, and none of them is getting tangled, because now my hand is tangled, which is very bad. So you're meant to like turn the rubber band around, and if you have like a design sort of thing, make sure it's in your wrist. And then you can just turn it and put your thumb down. I mean, uh, your middle finger in, and it will look exactly like a ring, which is what you want to get. You can use slightly tighter, so then it will close your hand. So after, so the hand will like stretch your arms, and it will want to collapse. So then you can like, bend it and grip it a bit. So um, I just want to show you the um, ending. If you do this of the handstand then i will get on to my stretching tutorial which is in the title because i do not want to waste you guys time very long here if i can sell my phone okay my phone settled here again and we can just do this i'm so little professional where i can't do like the with alcohol but i'm starting starting yeah so i just want to like kick out and start Triangle. So that's how you do that. So, uh, so then, like, clap your hand and you can bend it and get more grip. And if you're good and flexible, I'm mean, not flexible. If you're good at balancing, then you can over. Then with that grip, you can make the hand stand. But if you're like me, who has terrible balance, then uh, you might not be able to make it just like this. But don't worry, I'll get it. Anyway, so I'm gonna take out these rubber bands because they really hurt, and then I'm gonna start off with the tutorial. So the tutorial here, okay, I didn't edit that. Okay, anyway, the tutorial here is um on how to do the thing and maintain a nice body. I'm not too fat, not too thin, like like sort of like me, because. Compared to many people on them, uh, but I'm also kind of fat, so I don't like myself. So I do 15 jumping jacks three times per day, randomly, but I do it three times, 15 jumping jacks each time. So you just want to go, and I'll also let you guys do this with me. So uh, you can go ahead, place an iPad, phone, computer, anywhere, wherever you have space, and start this. Okay, I see you guys settled in now, and if you didn't, just pause the video and do it. <laughs> okay, now that you settled it, I'm going to teach you how to do this. So, um, I'm going to get my phone stand because okay, now you guys can see my face. Just okay, so now you guys are standing with this in your room, I guess, and then you can do three times jumping jacks. So, like, per day, just randomly go. Okay. So just go like that, and let's do it together. So three, two, 
One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, uh, if, if you guys cannot follow me, then I'm sorry. Uh, and if you guys don't even know what jumping jacks is, then here's how to do it. If you guys know, you can just fast forward. So you just want to go like this, separate your legs, and bring your hands up. And then you want to close your legs and bring your hands up. And just keep doing that. Okay. So I see you guys fast forwarded or watched that. So, um, so let's try the next routine so the next routine is that i do a hand routine so like your hands will be also turny and nice so you can do the flexibility things like handstands cartwheels and all that so i like first put my hands like this on my bed just like that if you guys can't see i have to put it in more time. Okay. Okay, so it is. okay, I'm just going to show you like this. Yeah, I'll just like put it like this and then I'll hold it. And I suggest you sit in your same place and don't do anything. Just hold it for 10 seconds. That's what I do for both my hands each day whenever I do a carpool or something. Because um, if you do this, then your hands will be more easy and you can do your hair handstand easier and your hands won't hurt that much but since i haven't been doing this for like two days my hands are real tired when i do the handstands so after that i usually go on with the stretches which you can also follow with me here so you can just go like this and then you stand straight pull one leg forward bend okay and put this leg straight so it's sort of like a splits, but not a splits. You can bend this leg, then one touch, touch the end. You can use another hand to grip here, and this can be slightly bent, but not like this, or else we'll be cheating. So you have to just slightly bend it, like this. And you can try to touch, okay? And then I'll hold that for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. And if you do that for 20 seconds, then this part will really hurt. So I suggest first do like some more easier stretches, like, I don't know, like this. Like you straighten this leg and then this. And just hold that. Like this. Do this side. Okay, guys. I'll keep this leg straight and then just go like this. And I'll cuff my leg like this. Just like hold it like this. And then we'll just stay there. Oh, yeah, this part should be floating, so it's easier. Let's hold this for 10 seconds, which I usually do for 15 seconds. So let's just do it, okay? 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2. Oh my god, guys, I feel. Oh, you guys can keep going. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, you guys did it. My God, my knees hurt. So uh, you can do that for both your legs, which I'll just watch you guys do, because my legs are tired because I didn't do this in two days. So you guys can try. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys, can stop now. Anyway, so that's the basic stretches, and then um, that's like my normal stretches to get your body nice, uh, but to be like thin and stuff, that stretches. Then uh, you can sit on place actually, because. I just maintain the perfect body somehow. But uh, these are just some tips, um, which you don't have to do any exercise for actually. Wear a bracelet at all times, wear rings, and like wear necklaces, wear these fancy stuff. Like make sure your ne uh, bracelet is like here. Or wear a watch that's better so it'll like cover your wrist sort of, and it'll like fit, and it'll be like cute. And you'll just appearance is 
thin somehow. But that's how it will just be thin. Anyway, so um, now I'm gonna teach you the real thing to be thin, which I do not know. But this is what I usually do. I usually put one hand here, and then if you think it's like this, and you just turn no. You lift up one hand and you turn around. I wonder why I put like this and not like this, because then you might fall. But if you grip on here, it'll be easier. Just go. And then the other side too, we'll do it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can go as far as you can, but don't go like this and touch the ground. Uh, you have to go like slightly here or here. So um there. And then after that, um you have to do that at least three times every day. Or else it doesn't work. And then you can go for like a lying down pose. So like you just put your belly front and then keep your elbow get like, elbow stand. And then you can just like go back, push your hands. And then like slightly tilt up your toes like this. Yes, no pressure. Okay, make sure your feet are like stuck like this. Okay, and just like go like this. Okay, kind of will hurt because you should not bend this part. Just lift this up, which is really tiring. But I think you guys can manage because then like. It's just loosen your body here, and then uh, whatever exercise you'll do, it'll come easier. And then you can do like many exercises like this. You don't have to reach your head, and I can't reach my head. In. And you just like go with your hand, like hold your leg and just lift it up, and like pull your leg. So you need to have one hand down for all safeties, and then you can do that which will kind of like, you know, like loosen everything or strengthen them, I'm not sure. Like, um, yeah. And that is my stretching routine. That's what I always do uh, occasionally. <laughs> like occasionally means like um, twice, no, uh, like twice a week, that's occasionally. And like, um, if you guys are like, if you guys really want to be thin, like must, then I suggest you guys do this every day and you will be thin, to guarantee. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed this video. Um, my friend recommended me to do this, so I did it. And anyway, um, I just want to show you my improvation in handstands, which I'm really proud of. But if you guys don't want to do that, you can just keep on going to your next video exercises. Or you can just watch this to see my improvation. Uh, if you've seen my handstands tutorial only, or else go watch that first. Uh, the link will be in the description. Yeah, description. Be in the description because YouTube disabled my comments for some reason. So I can just go like this. Wait. My belly is showing. My belly is showing. I am not showing you guys though. So I'm gonna tuck in. I'm gonna tuck it in. Because my pants are like after eyes and they can go up. This looks very weird, but I do not care. So, um, I can like slightly go up when I immediately fall down, but let's try going up. So then, like, um, if I go out, then it may pop a few seconds, but yeah, at least, and at least I land nice because before this is what I did. Uh, it's not a replay, it's just what I did from my brain. So let's try. So this is what I before did. So I'm going to go like this. And I'll just like easily fall on my knees. But if you guys are doing it on the floor, that is not really safe, guys. It might break your knee. Be careful with that. So I suggest you land, and this is the landing tutorial, which I'm going to do right now. So, uh, yeah. But if you guys want to watch this too, then you can just skip out ahead. Because um, if you guys are doing this on your floor, not on your bed, then um, I suggest you watch this. 
<laughs> or also watch my hands hand, which is in the description from last time. So go. So uh, watch that. Then come back and watch this. I'll just watch this if you don't want to watch. So just go like this. And go up to your hand steamer, which you guys should know how to do. And then you just want to lift up one leg. Put that down, okay? Kick it down. And put your other leg here. And then push up. I can't really do it slow because I'm only learning. I'm also starter. But, um, yeah, here's the fast mode. Not fast mode, just normal. Um, that's how. It basically, from the force of you falling down, that's how you can, like, Use that force in your hands to get up. That's how you do it. Sometimes I might flop, so I use the wall to climb up. So suggestion you do this on a wall like me. Or else just you know, do it on the floor with pillows and stuff on the wall. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So thank you for watching. Um, and if you like my shirt, guys, this is new. And I just made a crop top, tucking it in, which I really like. Anyway, thank you for watching. I don't want to talk anymore. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like. Just like, because... Because I need to know if you like this video or not. Because if you don't like, then I'll know, oh, people don't like this. Let's, like, not do any more of these stretching routines. So if you like it, then I'll know, oh, people like it, so let's do more. I'll do more videos like this. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Well, time for a peace out.